What's up, everybody? This is Simpson Circus, bringing you episode 8 it's of this Birmingham Rose of this show and the Mississippi If Braves. you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment. And and I'm hoping y'all are enjoying this series as much as I am. And we'll be back with the first pitch right uh, after this. Enjoy the show. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Palmer. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Okay, all set to go. Now it's the right fielder, Misael Gonzalez. The pitch. There's a strike up high, and we are underway. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Yoelki Cespedes stands in now and watches strike one. That one clips the outside corner. That is strike two. And here it comes. In the dirt. Throws the first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. No score just getting started top of the first. The pitch. Look out down there. Straighten him up a little bit. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers. One, one. Here's a tapper towards short. Waddell fires to first on the run. Oh. And that is that. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. And welcome back. Second Eagle, inning set to go. Now it's the DH, Tyler Nesloni. Nesloni. First pitch, just misses. And that's in for a strike. No one out now, no one out. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Makes the catch for the out. And yeah, the batter now, Tim Elko. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Swing and a miss. Going one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. In the air, center field. I got it. Oh, Pulls it in on the run. Two down. Here's the left fielder, Nate Mondu. Here we go, guys. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down here. 
And that's in the dirt. No score here in the second. That one missed. Now three and oh. Strike on the inside corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. And the righty deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the right hander deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game here's the second baseman number five the right hander back to work and there's the strike man I mean nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was next one is off the plate and now it's even one and one the wind in the pitch Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. And now the count filled up three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three two. Gets a piece. And stays alive. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Now at the plate, Adam Hackenberg. There's the strike. And that one missing low. Center field. He's under it. Two, two, two. And there's one down. Eat it, eat it. Now it's the shortstop, Lennon Sosa. Lennon Sosa. And that's in there for strike one. Sosa, 23 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. The next pitch misses one and one. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. Top of the third, no score. In the air out to center. And there's two away. Misael Gonzalez, the next to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And a swing to miss. Gonzalez hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Kicks and deals. One ball, two strikes. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes. For the second time today. Welcome back. Now here is Yoelki Cespedes. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And one ball out. one. Two balls, no Two strikes balls. to count. No hey, nobody away. 
kicks and fires. One, one, on one. the ground, out to short. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ramos hey. batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Come on, fellas, let's go. Out towards right center field, number 49. Should have this one. Hauls it in for the out. Now bad, designated hitter. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Tyler Nesloni. Fly to left his first time up. And the pitch is in for a strike. Strike one. Just off the outside part of the plate. The 1 1. And a foul ball. The Barons still looking for their first hit in this one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. No runs, no hits, no errors. And welcome back. And here is Tim Elko. The first base is number 25. Palmer back to work. Elko. And there's a strike. You know, this group of hitters, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. He was all over that one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Mondu up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes. In for a strike. That's strike one. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Good eye in that spot. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. And that's ball four. Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk. And things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations. So he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Number five. Can't hold, hold up, and that's down. a strike. Hey, First on, and second on, here, no outs. And it's fouled away. And one and two. Man, oh, man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. The next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. And yeah, that's outside. Elko, the lead runner out at second. Mondu at first with no outs. And down on strikes he goes. And one out now. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boot. Ground ball left side could be two. Waddell tossed to second. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. Fought off foul. Oh, and two now. Got him! Huge strike out there. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now, Misael Gonzalez. They say it went. Oh, and one.
And strike two. Ball, two strikes. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're nope. beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Next ball, pitch misses inside. inside. And yeah, that's ball two. High in the air, out to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Here's the third baseman, Brian Ramos. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ramos, just 21 years old. And he was born in Cuba. Hammer, base hit. Cajal, Cajal, nobody. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And next is the designated hitter, Tyler Nesloni. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Oh, on the oh, ground to third. Throws across oh. the diamond, and that is that. No runs, one hit, no error. Top of inning number seven. And here's the first baseman, Tim Elko. Number 25. And a pitch. That one fouled off. The wide to kick the pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering is down low. 0 2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. That's just cool. missed. It's a good take. <laughs> Pitch. One, one, one. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Good, good, good. Off to a good start with a leadoff die. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline. It paid. They hand the ball over to a new arm, number 24. He last pitched two days ago. Number 24. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. We remind you to please. So just about set now, and on the hill today, Darius Bynes. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about... Now one down. Number Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Palmer. He's 0 for 1. One pitch only here. Here we go. Next pitch has popped up. Two away. Digging in, now Palmer. Number 10. Get your pitch and drive it. Let's go, big dog. Next pitch has popped up. And that is the third out of the inning. 
Nothing doing. Next to hit, Palmer. Number 10. And that one fouled off. Get your pitch, huh? The 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. That one missed. 0 oh, 2 count, you got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Rocket it out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Welcome back. Leading, Leading off, off Palmer. The designated hitter. Number 10. And he deals. And takes low for ball one. And a pitch. That's, That's down and in. Yeah, great take. Where's the spit on? Hey, get your pitch and drive it. That's towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Oh, such a confidence. And a final. Eight to seven. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us. So, almost ready to get underway, getting the nod in this one. Nolan Kingham. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball. but And he can't come up with it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Top of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Out to short. Palmer. In there safely. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base. So digging in, Palmer. Get a good rip on it, huh? Off the mark right there. there, and that's ball one. Hey, need you right here, need you. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. That one out to right. He's under it. He's got it. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up the enough to really drive it. Now Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, ahead. Palmer. Palmer, only 18 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. In the air, left field. Mondu makes the catch, and that'll do it. 
So two down. Palmer Number will hit seven. next. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And here it comes. Tapped softly on the ground. Whips it across. That's out number three. One hit, one left. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these... All right, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit and leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.